morning everybody, this is Mark. I just want to show you a couple of tricks with the uh, Garmin 650s this morning. For those of you that haven't seen them, it's a pretty fantastic setup. You can move around the screen, you can select different airspace, you can zoom in and out. Um, pretty cool stuff, but I want to show you uh, how to set up the crossfill on these. I get a lot of questions of how to set up the crossfill, so I'm going to show you that real quickly. Um, so one machine or one unit will talk to the other, so you hit the home key the down arrow, you go to system, set up, and you enable cross fill. But now the top unit is going to send all the navigation information to the bottom unit. And that says, simple as that. The one thing you can't do with this, on 430 you can set up for one to cross fill down and the other one not to cross fill up. Once you change one on here, it changes the other one, so they'll always go back and forth. Charlie, Charlie, so that's a little bit different on this set, unit than uh, on the, the other one. So one other thing I want to show you, the winds are common altimeter. there's a bunch of different ways in this to get airport information. Um, one way I like that you can always get information about your waypoints. You have flight plan. You can always click on whatever airport for whether it's the nearest or any of those, and you can go right up to waypoint info. And then you can look at info, runways, frequencies, all that information. All you have to do is click it. You want to put it in. You just tap it and it goes right in. Simple as that. Hope you enjoyed the video.